Hello, welcome to the Intel SSD Professional Family Corner. Today, we'll be talking about the recently launched Intel SSD Pro 2500 series and how it supports Microsoft eDrive. The Pro 2500 series is part of Intel's SSD Professional Family, built for the demanding business user and IT administrator whose task is to protect data and lower total cost of ownership. The Pro 2500 series is built around security and management. It's a self-encrypting drive. It supports TCG Opal 2.0 specification and Microsoft eDrive requirements, allowing for remote secure provisioning and key management. eDrive is Microsoft's new security storage requirements in Windows 8 and 8.1 that are built around the Opal 2.0 specification and add extra security protocol from the IEEE 1667 specification. If a drive, like the Pro 2500 series, supports eDrive, BitLocker, which is Microsoft's security software, can take advantage of the hardware encryption on the SSD. So now let's take a look at how we can activate eDrive on the Pro 2500 series. The Pro 2500 series comes with various security configuration options that allows the IT administrator or user to configure the drive the way that best works for them. By default, it is eDrive disabled. So you'll want to check the drive to make sure you understand what security state it's in before using it. As Windows 8 does its secure provisioning during the install, you'll want to enable eDrive before you start the installation process. So let's go ahead and check and see what state this drive is in before we start doing our Windows 8 installation. To do that, I hook it up to my external cable here, which is plugged into my SATA port on this machine. And I'm going to run new tool from Intel called the Intel SSD Pro Administrator tool. And we can run that from my tools directory here. If we put in a dash help option and keep it from scrolling all over, we can see that the tool comes with various options to allow you to check states of the drive, do a secure race on it, and as we'll see here in a minute, enable eDrive. So what we do first to check the status is we'll run the drive list option. And this lets you see what drives are on your system. And the one we're concerned about here is the um, drive index one. So we go back, we run with the drive index option one. And we get the um, state of the drive here, the status of Opal and eDrive. And as you can see, it's Opal ready. So we can use eDrive on this. But as you see, the eDrive support is false, so meaning it's disabled. Real easy way to enable eDrive there is you just run the drive index option one to tell you what drive you're doing it on. And you choose the enable eDrive option. You'll get a prompt to make sure you understand what you're doing. This says I'm going to be an enable only process, no going back. So make sure this is what you want to do. Choose yes and give it just a few seconds here. And voila, successful. So now if we go back and rerun the drive index option and check what the status is again, you can see that our eDrive support is now true, meaning eDrive is enabled. So we're ready to do our install process to let eDrive provision it, and then we can talk about how BitLocker will manage the drive. So let's go and do the install um, on another system here and um, get Windows 8 up and running on this drive. All right, so now we have our new system here where we've installed Windows 8 on our prepared drive. So let's take a look and see the status of things. So to do that, I open up my command prompt here and I run our SSD tool again with the drive index option. And as I know, there's only one drive in here. It's going to be drive index zero. And there you go. As you can see, Opal is now activated, meaning during the install process, eDrive did its thing and secure provision the drive. So now to get the full advantage of your security on your system and um, set up hardware encryption properly, we need to go enable BitLocker. To do that, we bring up the uh, Windows utility here. And as you can see, uh, it says it's to turn on BitLocker, meaning that we haven't turned it on yet. So let's click the option here. Check the um, system here. And then it'll ask us to save our key to our file here, or you could save it to a Microsoft account, depending on your environment. 
you may be saving this remotely if your um, system administrator has set up certain policies on here. But we're going to save it to a local thumb drive. So I insert my thumb drive and I'll choose save it to a file. Choose my thumb drive here and simply save. Click next. And I'm not going to run the uh, BitLocker system check, but you can if you so choose. Start encrypting. The beauty with this is that with the hardware encryption, pretty much everything is on and running instantaneously versus a software-based encryption system that may take hours before that would be done. So everything is running well now. Everything's protected. We can run one last command here that Microsoft provides. It's the manage BDE and we'll run it with the status option and as we can see here in the system where now hardware encryption is the encryption method. So we've looked at the Pro 2500 series and how it works with um, Microsoft eDrive for a hardware encryption based solution. We've also taken a look at the Pro Admin tool and how you can check the status of your um, security states on your drive. Go out to intel.com, check out more on the Pro 2500 series, and deliver like a pro.